a project like this could drive anyone mad or madder because you gotta be mad to begin with to start something like this. Goddamn airplanes! My motor project is taking baby steps. I don't like taking baby steps, I'm past that I think. For everything I do I need to stop and research and find out what I'm doing right or wrong or trying new stuff I gotta learn. I could have just bought uh, an expensive uh, ocean vault electric motor and system and everything and have professionals install it for me, but I'm cheap as f Instead I gotta learn everything, but I've made some progress. We are all going to the same destination, our time is counted, and for years now I have said that I wouldn't survive another winter in Sweden. I've been looking at my sword collection, contemplating Harakiri for too long. It's better to go sailing poor as a church rat than spending an eternity six feet under. really like you are climbing on this high voltage equipment. I just realized that these are two different lengths and the longer one is perfectly fine I think. I was at the store and checked for, for longer ones but they didn't have the, the exact ones but <laughs> Thankfully, I have now. What couldn't be better? Oops. What the fuck? Still dripping something. Now I have a feel for where my new motor will be located. It will be right here. So I will make some kind of some kind of mount here. And this is a flexible coupling thing, aqua drive, so the motor doesn't necessarily need to be should be angled as perfectly as possible, but it's not super important. I'm so happy I Get to try this today. After a lot of effort I finally got this remote working. It was very difficult or it wasn't really difficult, it was just that these these cables that came with the project was not the correct cables. So you had to take a small screwdriver and change which was which <laughs> on the Bluetooth module for this uh, thing. There was a Bluetooth module that came with this thing and th that was supposed to be plugged into the COM port on my FSESE 75300 so it wasn't really connected the right way but check with the documentation of the remote and the documentation of the VESC the ESC and see if it was the correct communication port things and then in the VESC tool there are a lot of settings I haven't got a clue yet there's some kind of live uh, monitor 
live real time re, real time data let's let's check the real time data this is the real time data nothing is happening absolutely nothing what you can see here there are a lot of settings sensorless whole sensors General settings, field oriented control, invert motor direction. You can change the direction of the motor anyways. You can do so many things here. And I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Absolutely no idea. But I got this working on the remote when I fired up. It says it's only pulling four amps or something, so... But it's also... And I haven't got... I want this to be like a break or reverse, but I haven't got that working yet. But this is a start, and if I mount it in the boat, I can probably go with it already. So maybe I will try to mount it in the boat somehow. But I, maybe... Maybe I can change... Maybe I can change some kind of uh, RPM. Max E RPM. One million. Hmm. Let's add a zero. Right. I think I increased the RPMs. Yes, this is a work in progress and will probably be a work in progress for a very long time. But at least I got it working now. So this is the way everything is connected. This is the 16S LifePo battery I built before and showed you. This is the negative and this is the positive terminal. Oops. The positive goes to fuse to a breaker and then I need to make another parallel breaker I think because I want to be able to shut off the motor controller without shutting off the charging or solar panel charging. Then the positive goes to the motor controller and I just I just connected all these three positive cables to the positive and all the three negative cables to the negative and this is the FSC 75300 from Flipsky and it's uh, rated for 300 amps and max 75 volts so this battery is 58 something at the most I think then this uh, mess of cables are connected to this Bluetooth module na now and on this end it was the correct cable but the other end was not the right but now I, I moved the red cable I think to be in the right spot and you can see where it's supposed to be on this as well. So now this is working somehow. Then there are three outgoing phases and two cables each out of this FSEC and it's these red, green and yellow cables going to the motor. And the motor also have this whole sensor cable which I plugged in last time as well but the issue is that the temperature reading is not in the same format or something as the VESC or FSEC controller so it's not uh, at the moment plugged in I just cut it off and now I think it works which is great. Yeah then the negative from the FSEC goes to the BMS which goes to the negative on the battery and there is also a USB-C from the FSESE to the computer. So that's the status of this 
hair no this motor project at the time being now i just have one speed on my controller so that's something i need to work out and i need to work out the reverse function and i need to make the motor mount and i need to plug in the solar panels and all that stuff so that's the current report if you want to see what happens follow your heart and this channel and see if i can make this crazy project work and maybe go for a long sale this summer maybe and maybe give me one of these if you want to okay goodbye hi my name is musa and i'm from outer space i am an intergalactic filmmaker stranded on the last earth i document my sailing expeditions off-grid amusement park random adventures and projects and the search for my happy-go-lucky land and sometimes i invite you to join goodbye for now and see you later